Not long ago, when I got this beautiful retro-inspired fabric, uh, I asked some opinions and people suggested to make a bomber jacket. I've never done that before, so let's go ahead. And then later on I was thinking that because I have to make a lining for it, what better way than to make it reversible. So I have two beautiful different size spot fabrics that are going to be my lining and I got of course a zipper that goes all the way back it's amazing I'm in love with it stick with me for a while because we're going to do a few interesting things we're going to trace the pattern from scratch and I'll tell you what measurements you need to trace yours we're going to see how we work with different fabrics and make a bomber I haven't done that and then at the end of the video I'll tell you how much it was this project how long it took and difficulties things I will have done different now I know and things like that so stick with me for a while and if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing because I upload twice a week and that way you don't miss anything. We talk about sewing, we do different stuff, new stuff we haven't done before. And of course, I'll leave you here my Instagram account as well in case you want to have a look at some uh, curio stuff and everyday life as well. So I have all my fabrics, I have my reversible zipper and I got some cuff uh, material and I have elastic band as well because uh, bomber jackets can be different, they, have, they can have this on the neckline cuffs and then uh, on the hemline I'm going to add it only on the neckline then for cuffs and hem I'm going to add elastic band the same way they can have different shape um, shoulders they can have like a drop shoulder I'm going to do it just normal uh, discreet because the fabric it's a lot and I don't want to add too much more let's start measuring let's start measuring we're going to need some tracing paper and I'm going to trace it on there sometimes I even trace it on the fabric itself but let's do uh, let's make a pattern so uh, we're going to need from shoulder to shoulder in my case is 40 centimeters and then the shoulder width which in my case is 10 centimeters and then from there down you're going to need to go from shoulder to your hip bone in my case is 50 centimeters and then to the highest point of your bust which is for me 25 centimeters so with those measurements you keep tracing and then to give it width we're going to measure the bust contour in my case 85 centimeters and then you can even just fold your measuring tape and this way you don't have to measure anything else or divide or take a ruler out just with this you can do it and trace it from the middle out so this is your block of measurements and because we want the bomber a bit wider we don't want it tight we're going to add four centimeters on each side at the bottom and then go up and from there is where you're going to trace your armhole area and then the sleeve for the sleeve you're going to uh, fold your paper and that way is easier I'm going to need the length from shoulder to wrist and what I'm doing is that I'm holding my measuring tape between my fingers and that way is easy enough to uh, see the measurement and then the same on the inside from the armhole from the armpit to uh, down to the wrist and then you're going to need your wrist and biceps contour and add the same amount I'm going to add from the wrist 4 centimeters, so it's not tight and then go up to the armpit and from there up to the shoulder I'm going to make a slide and this way you have your sleeve
I much rather trace my own fabrics. I think it's much better than cutting a pattern from a pattern magazine. If you do that, you have to uh, look for your um, uh, size. Then you have to check that the size is properly done or if you have to adapt some measurements as well, which is a mess. And then you have to follow instructions. Don't let me start on that. So if you take your own measurements, it's quite easy to make yourself your block of measurements. And with this, anything you want to do, it's extremely easy because you just drop this on your fabric and you can leave more seam allowance or you can add more flare, whatever you want to do. That's uh, an asymmetrical cut anything from this you can trace any but uh, let's start from scratch and do it uh, for everyone I'm going to start cutting my fabric and because I have uh, only remnants for the polka dot fabric, I'm going to use both of them. So the sleeves are going to be in one size and the body in the other. And then for the fabric, the best thing you can do is to use what you have cut to do the same, unless you cut it all at once, the two uh, layers of fabric, which is not advisable. Uh, the thing is, when I got this retro fabric, I knew about the lines, I liked them, but I didn't realize that, for example, here on this side is not right next to the salvage edge, but almost, but on the other side is not. It's not the same pattern, so the flowers start again. So I'm a bit confused. I don't know what to do because I thought of using them for the cuffs and hemline of the jacket, which would be really nice, but you're wasting so much fabric. The, the ideal bit would be to do those bits for the sleeves, so you use all that and cut the fabric clean on one side. But then, I, I don't know, I'm not sure at all. Another thing would be to use the stripes on the side of the sleeves, but again, you waste a lot of fabric. It was cheap, but still. So I've decided to do the stripes on the sleeves instead of on the hemlines of the sleeves and bodies. Why? Because um, bomber jackets are a bit shorter and they are not on the same level as the cuffs would be. So It'll be like a step, there'll be unbalanced, and I think that'll be a bit tricky to the eye. So I'm going with this method, changing the side, changing the, um, uh, the position of the sleeve, so I have them symmetrical, if you know what I mean. And I just realized, having the stripes along the sleeve, that I can do the same on the front of the jacket, and that way I don't have to pattern match anything with the zipper. With everything cut, I'm going to start sewing together the bodies and sleeves along the side seams so I can put them together later on, the same with the lining. And once I have two jackets, I'm going to put them one inside the other and finish with the elastic and zipper. I'm going to start by sewing the body's right sides together along the side seams and shoulders. So this is looking okay, careful with the mic. This is the outside and of course the lining is the same. Uh, but I'm just realizing that I might... Let me put this away in case I cut it wrong. I'm realizing that the sleeves are looking small and tight. So I think that it's not that I cut the fabric wrong. I think that I traced the pattern wrong because I was careful enough to leave a nice seam allowance down here, but then I didn't do the same up here, which is crazy and it's missing 
quite a chunk. So, bummer. Solving problems. So the first thing you have to think is, do I have enough fabric to replicate the sleeve? If you do, there's no problem at all. It's a bit of a waste, but it's the way we learn. There's no other way. And the second thing, if you don't, maybe you can add a strip of fabric all the way down on the inside. So what is better? After all of this, after breathing and after uh, making a, a yoga session, <laughs> so you don't end up throwing something out of the window. So, uh, what is better? Shall I add fabric or shall I just cut again? I don't think I have enough fabric to cut again either way. Because this is also just tight enough and I have to add like, oof, yeah, another five centimeters on top. So I don't think I have enough to cut the fabric again. So I'm going to have to add a strip. And one thing I had done is that I had cut other sleeves to make like a second one. So you could see a different way to place the patterns. But mm, well, what a mess. Third day of sewing, I managed to fix the sleeves. Thank goodness I had a bit of fabric to add. I added a 12 centimeter strip on uh, on, on the inside of the sleeve. And I think it was the best option. I didn't have enough fabric to cut two of the same again, so they match. So I think it was good. I was a bit um, disappointed that in the end I didn't use the stripes on the hemlines of sleeves and bodies, but then I realized that it wouldn't have fitted. I had a meter and a half, so they didn't fit and I couldn't use the one opposite the other strip uh, straps because, not straps, the other stripes, because uh, they, didn't, they didn't fit. The, they were too close to each other to put another bodice or another sleeve the other way. It's a pity that the fabric, that the design didn't have the stripes uh, right on the salvage edges, but well, uh, it's how I did it, so I think it's going to be nice. I did the same with the uh, polka dot one, and now I'm going to sew them to the bodices. So what I always do is that I put the bodice inside out, and I lift the sleeve right size out, and that way I can just pin it, uh, no problem at all. But be careful if you have right and left sleeve. I didn't, I left it the same because um, it's a bomber jacket, it's quite loose. So I didn't do all the, the, um, the front of the sleeve a bit curvier. I didn't do that. I just left it as uh, the same. So I didn't have to think of that. So that is the lining or jacket, depending on your mood. And this is the other one, the main one. And I'm quite pleased with it. Um, it turned out okay. And the sleeves, you can't see anything because uh, of the pattern. So that's good. And now what I have left to do is the elastic band on the hemline and sleeve 
the zip and the neckline with this cuff material I got. So I'm going to start in that order. The elastic bands, then the zip, I'm going to leave enough space so I can put the zipping, and then the same with the neckline. I could have done all of this for everything, but they only brought this in the packet. I think it's, it was quite dear. It was uh, five euros for this. But I mean, I will have needed two. I got it because I thought of this design. But anyways, you can do mm, whatever you like, the better. So for the elastic band, just make sure you measure yourself with the elastic band and not with your measurement. Because elastic bands change and maybe you cut some and it's not enough or it's a bit loose. So just be careful. I'm going to just measure my hip line and there I'm going to cut and I'm just going because it's two layers of fabric I'm just going to put them in one inside each other and push it in so I was doubting how to sew this because you will do it on one side and then flip it in but I have two fabrics so it has to go at the same time so let's see how we do. This is just, I don't know, this is just things that come to my mind and then you know. So it works. So with the two fabrics, to, with the two jackets right sides together along the hemline we can sew the elastic band and then once it's right sides out or the proper side out, it's done. That's good. I'm really happy about how the elastic band turned out on the hemline and I didn't I didn't know that the lining was going to be seen on the outside. I think it looks really cute. But I was trying to do the same with the sleeves and I couldn't because everything is sewn in together. Although now that I think of it, maybe I could have done it through the neckline. It could have been an idea as well well next time but i decided to go with the cuffs material i had and i think it looks really cute so that's good well the zip should be fairly easy to install because um, i have a lining so i'm going to just make it like with flaps uh, putting pushing inside the lining and the fabric and then closing it in so it should be easy the closure is massive but i think oh yes i can even open it of course and do it on its own so it's easier Well, the zipper looks really nice. It's fairly easy to sew because you just push the ends in and you sew it together. The only thing I had problems with is that. Let me see if I can explain myself properly. When I sew the hemline, the lining came out. I wasn't counting on that. I didn't know it was going to happen uh, the way I sewed it. So. The lining coming out means that the lining came down a little bit and it became shorter. So I had to cut the retro fabric and that made the bomber a bit shorter. So the zipper was a bit longer for this now. So I didn't want to cut it. It's a really thick zip. I don't know if I cut it, if it's going to be okay. So I'm going to just leave it inside and close it as it is. 
another neckline. Mm, what I'm going to do, this is like a sandwich style sewing bit. So I'm going to just push the ends of the neckline in and put the, the cuff material in there. So I'm going to baste. I'm going to start by pinning and then basting. When you have to paste, you have to paste. So I have my piece of uh, cuff material that I want to insert in here. So this the rectangle of cuff with the cuts on the side are going to be stretch a little bit so they come down and this shape, this arch, is going to get in there. So you don't see any seams and it's a bit sort of a curve, I think, for what I see uh, on, the, you know, uh, in pictures. I haven't done anything like this before, so just bear with me. All right. I'm basting, of course. I'm not a fan of basting, but when you have to baste, you have to baste. So this is the jacket that I just realized I forgot to design it with pocket. It hasn't got any pockets. That is such a bummer. It's so ridiculous. Ah. So that was one of the mistakes, the pockets. I didn't design it with pockets, but the rest of it, I'm quite happy with it. Another thing was the fabric. The fabric has the, had these stripes on the salvage edge, but not on both salvage edges. On one of the sides, it was like 30 centimeters in the fabric. So it was difficult to place your pattern on it. Uh, I, uh, at first I thought that it would be nice to have the stripes on the hemlines, but then I realized it didn't fit and I couldn't use the other one because the patterns uh, overlapped each other. So I had to do it like this. I think it looks nice and I think the pattern looks lovely because I, it's quite right on the seam, on the shoulder seam. So it looks really neat. I think it looks lovely. And I love the design with the lining as well. I didn't know the lining was going to come out uh, on the hemline and that was another mistake that then coming out this way it meant that it shrunk it came down a bit so when i cut the retro fabric the zip was too long so i just left it in here it's a thicker zip i don't know if it will work to cut it i just left it in there and then another thing that was a bit difficult was the, the, the cuff material on the neckline because you have two fabrics uh, sandwiching inside the, the neckline so it's a bit difficult to maneuver. I don't know if you can do it a different way. Uh, I'm happy about how I did it. The only thing is that this fabric also marks. So if you stitch it wrong, then you have it wrong forever and then the other side i think it looks lovely i quite like uh, spots so this is how it looks i think it looks amazing 
this is another way, a really good way to match your or to combine different fabrics. If you have the same colors but different patterns or different sizes, it's ideal. And this was only uh, two euros and three euros, something like that. And because I had to line it anyways, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, make it reversible. I think it works really well. It was a long project, it was like six hours of work, uh, but I think I waste a lot of time when placing the pattern because the, I didn't know what to do with the fabric. But um, that, like six hours of work, and then of course the cost. The thing that was the most expensive was the zip. It was six euros fifty. Well, the fabric was eight euros to uh, two and a half and three euros so it came to a total of 20 euros i think it's worth it i think it's nice it's unique it's something that reflects your personality and i think it's completely worth trying so let me know down in the comments what you thought if you have any tips i could use for next time when i improve my design and don't forget to subscribe if you would like this kind of content because i upload twice a week and that you don't miss anything and i leave you a link to everything uh, sewing sewing clothes uh, your way your uh, taste and the way you like it and they will fit lovely so stick around for a while bye hola 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 Uy. A ver cómo quito una hebra con la mano izquierda.